thank you very much for, for joining us just ahead of your, your next training session with Glen Torn in mind. Obviously not the run of games that we would have liked, the results-wise. How, how have you been finding in the last few weeks and obviously disappointing results? Yeah, it's been tough going for us. You know, it's, it's just uh, unprecedented times at the moment, but every club's having to deal with everything and on, and we certainly can't use anything as an excuse. We've been poor and we've struggled for form this season. But every game that comes along is another opportunity to put it right, and Glen Torrance no difference. So hopefully we manage to put in a really good performance and get back on track. Yes, obviously um, a few of the boys are dejected. Obviously we've been in a, in a different patch of form recently. It's uh, not been easy. A lot of us probably aren't used to being in a, a kind of run of form like this. But you know this is where our character has been tested, and uh, Glen Torrance obviously having a, a decent run of form at the minute. So it won't be an easy game, but one we'll look forward to, and hopefully just get back on the horse and get back at it. In some way, Paul, it's probably unknown territory. You've been at the club for a long period of time and probably not used to you know, three consecutive losses, which is probably a first in, in a long period of time. But can you put your finger on it? Or is there anything maybe coming to mind that you need to do better? It's very, very difficult to say. Um, yeah, as you say, we've, a handful of us have been here an incredibly long time now. When we won the league, we only lost two games. You know, In fact, if you add up the three league titles that we won over the course of the four years. I think we only lost a total of maybe 10 games between all three. So it's it's an unknown that we're going into at the moment. We're, we're certainly struggling, but at the same time, we've certainly the character and the quality and the depth of quality within the team to put things right. Uh, and certainly the players, certainly the fans and, and everyone around the club, a really big performance. And hopefully that begins with Saturday. So, are you the player with the most minutes this season? You've, you've played a lot of football. You know, the manager made a few changes on Tuesday night and it unfortunately didn't you know didn't pay off. But from a, from your point of view, you know you're you're looking at these Tuesday Fridays, Tuesday Saturdays. Are you still uh, willing to you still want to play every game and still want to be part of it to help the team out in these difficult games? Yes, yeah, I mean it's nail on the head. Um, nobody wants to be on the bench um, ever. And you know, obviously it's been difficult this year. It's probably been unprecedented in terms of the turnaround of the games and. It's probably one of the most difficult things about COVID is there's no being, there's been no getting away from the football really. There's no uh, way we can let off steam at the weekend, you know, the way we normally would in a season, and that's probably mentally more tougher than anything. Um, physically, I feel I feel fine, and um, I've obviously played a lot of minutes, but I don't want to miss any games. And if I can go like that at the end of the season, I hopefully can. But it's just about helping out the team, and um, you know, hopefully, start on Saturday, we can we can turn it around and start putting a few points on the board. What's the message been from from the manager and, and the and the backroom team? Obviously, coming on the back of the, I guess a poor performance in some ways against Dungan, and obviously the result wasn't good. Probably if you look at the last kick of the game from Ross Clark, maybe unlucky not to get a point. What's what's been the message from the manager, and how do you prepare going into Saturday's game? I think the key message is just to to keep the focus, keep keep the heart, and keep the enthusiasm, the hard work rate, and um, and to keep pushing. You know, you can't give up. You can't call it a day. You can't quit. You can't go in lackluster and say, oh, look, we've lost our last couple. Whatever happens, happens. That, that, that can't be the mentality. And there's no player at this club that has that mentality. And that's, that's a, an absolute guarantee on that part. Every one of us go into a game determined to win. It doesn't matter who we're playing, whether it's, it's the Irish Cup, Irish League or Champions League. It does not matter. We've gone to the likes of Copenhagen. <laughs> probably wrongfully expecting a result <laughs> we've, um, we've gone to Norway we've gone to Wolves you know we held Wolves over at Molyneux they were 1-0 right to the last kick of the game we can see to the second we took the lead at Seaview there's been so many incredible times and it's important that people don't forget that we've worked incredibly hard and we'll continue to work just every bit as hard as we have done but you know the quality's improving around us and it's certainly up to us to get back up to the standard that we have set for ourselves so we're every bit as determined as we always have been and we have a full focus starting tonight at training to, to make sure that we're ready for Glen Torn and go and get three big points. No, everyone's just trying to remain positive. You know, obviously the manager's trying different things to, to get us back playing again, and, and we just have to go off his, his lead and, and you know and trust him that he's doing what's best for the team. And you know, as a, from the player's perspective, we all know he is. So um, it's just about getting back on the horse, being, making ourselves difficult to beat, and, and giving everything. And I don't think it's an issue. That, Players aren't trying, or the players, you know, aren't, aren't giving their best. It's just we're just coming up short at the minute. We're we're making big mistakes, at key moments, and we're being punished for them at every opportunity. So, uh, and obviously, we, we haven't been scoring off goals at the end. So it's just a matter of sorting that out and, and getting back at it. Obviously, you know, we, I'm sure it's difficult where you're not getting the maybe see the fans in the stadium or see 
Norway fans coming to the game, and it's probably been, a, as you said, unprecedented times where it's, it's been unusual, probably as a player more than anything, to not look up and, and see somebody giving you, you know, that tough man, giving you a bit of extra motivation. Would you, would you have a message for the fans? Nobody likes losing, and I know it's been a, it's been a difficult few weeks. The fans will probably be feeling that. I'm sure, yeah. as you said, you as players feel that. You know, you kind of message for the fans and, and how we stay together and get everybody back on track. Yeah, I think you just nail on the head there, just about staying together. Obviously, um, you know, everyone here loves playing in front of the fans at Seaview. It's, um, it's, it's a great place to play your football, and the fans are a big part of that. Um, not having them here this year, it's been massive. Um, probably more so. In the smaller games, you know, where you just need that wee bit of extra push, and I think when you turn up for a match and you know there's a packed stadium or you know there's there's fans there, it does sharpen you a wee bit. You know, you kind of think to yourself, well, there's people watching here today, so you know we obviously have to put on a good show. Whereas we can kind of sleepwalk in the games at the minute; they're just coming so thick and fast. We don't have that extra support, so obviously I know a lot of fans are going to be feeling disgruntled with their form, and you know it's all over. You know, every media outlet and stuff you look at, it's. It's obviously it's not acceptable for a club this size and, and stature and success we've had in the past. So my advice would just be just to try and stick with us and uh, you know the players are needing the fans every bit as much uh, as you know as, as we do. So uh, just stick with us and, and hopefully we can turn the corner. And lastly, Paul, just personally, obviously you you know you've given the club so many highs, you've given the fans so many moments of magic and so many important goals, and it's important obviously not to lose track of that. And but from your point of view, it's it's you want to replicate that, but you don't want to over try to create those moments again. How how happy have you been with your own performance, probably the season to date? Or is there anything else you can you feel that you need to improve on this season? I'd probably say, from my own personal point of view, there's every single aspect of my game I could improve on. And I think every other player will say the same, regardless of how well you're performing. It doesn't really matter if you're winning, losing or drawing. Every player has standards within themselves that they want to achieve. And once you achieve that level, you want to push on and achieve an even higher level within yourself there. So, I mean, personally speaking, my performance this year has been very, very poor. And that's certainly not something I want to carry on. And just like every other player, and it represents the team as well as a whole, it's something that we all need to put right. And we're fully focused on doing that. But at the same time, it's important to enjoy the game, not get downhearted if you're struggling, yeah, whether it be individually or collectively. Uh, make sure that the full focus and enjoyment of the game is there, the passion and love for the game, and especially for the club. You know, you're always wanting to achieve things for the for the not just each other, but for the supporters, the club as a whole, and uh, get back to them real, real glory days where you're travelling across Europe and going up against teams that are probably 64 tiers higher than you and experiencing you know, the same pitch as the most incredible players in the world. So that's something that we always strive towards and fingers crossed we can really get our act together and, and you know, put a few wins together in a row and see where it takes us. Absolutely. And the good news, I guess, with the, the heavy schedule is you don't have to wait too long you know, to play your next game. You may come off the back of a defeat, but you, you, you've only to wait a few days before you can get out there and try and put it right. Yeah. Is, yeah. And is that, is that important for, for the team to, to try and you know, mentally stay strong and not, not overthink the previous game, but really get yourself in the, in the zone for the next game coming up? Yeah, I mean, you look, the sooner the games come around, the better. Of course, it can have a real negative effect as well <laughs> if you don't get a few yeah. in a row. It doesn't quite work, but at the same time, you're happy to, to have an opportunity quicker rather than you know sooner rather than later to put things right. And you know, over the course of the next three weeks, I think we play six games. You know, that's maybe six games in 17 days. So there's no better window of opportunity than than putting things right immediately. If we manage to go and get a win at Glentoran, it pushes us on to go and get a quick result in midweek and go get another one and another one and before you know you know if things can turn very very quickly and that's the mentality that we're trying to keep here stay positive and work even harder to make sure that we get a, a good run together